All right, guys, back on the James. Uh, really, the first time I've been back out since um, I had that really good day a couple weeks ago. So, I'm gonna see if we can't have a pretty similar day. Um, it's about 5:45. Tide's been coming in for a couple hours. I'm um, gonna start here, kind of the same spots out here on the main channel. Um, try some of the rocks, maybe this dock right here, and I'll see if we can't get started pretty well. <laughs> So about an hour into the day no bites um had a major detour though guy was at the boat ramp when i passed close to kind of dutch gap and uh he had gotten stranded last night in one of the gravel pits um so i just picked him up and took him all the way out there so that was about a 30 minute detour so hopefully we get some good karma gonna go into this creek and try to catch some fish Alright guys, well there we go. So we're on the board. It's a keeper, probably about 13, 14 inch here, but he kind of pecked at it, missed, came back, hit it. Same flat that we fish pretty frequently. Um, not enough to make me feel super confident that there's a bunch in here, but it's good to see something. That one got hung pretty good. Good idea to put the ultralight on because this feels like a pretty good one, but everything feels like a good one. Oh my god! <sighs> Guys, ultralight giant. Oh my goodness. I put this on just thinking maybe this would work. Look at this. I mean, it's not, I mean, for an ultralight, it's a giant. I, I couldn't even, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Give me a second, let me get this thing unhooked, but literally, literal ultralight. Give me one second. All right, guys, got a weight on it. It's four pounds, zero ounces. Caught it on this, I think it's a Rapala Brat, BX Brat, three foot depth second cast with it i just put it on threw it around those rocks so not bad i mean couldn't really get the top water bites but that was pretty awesome i look forward to kind of looking at that because i felt like i was having a panic attack had them on about i think i use eight pound tests so nothing not too terribly light but we're gonna go ahead and let it go see if we can't get another one Oh my gosh. Okay, bye. Is this bye. a bowfin? Oh my gosh.
All right, guys, well, that was quite the blow up there. I've caught some bowfin in this spot over the years. Oh, almost the way it exploded, it almost seemed like one. Oh, that's a nice fish. He was hollow, wasn't he? Definitely probably about close to maybe two and a half, maybe a little bit less, but it's a nice fish on the walking bait. Number four. So I was on the phone while I was back there, but caught a pretty nice one, 215 off of a uh, Senko. Very rare that I catch my two best fish on spinning equipment, so that's something new for me, um, at least on video. Um, but yeah, basically I'm out of work this week. Um, had some family COVID issues. Everybody's okay, but work won't let me come in, so I guess I'll fish. Sounds like a good thing, but work's kind of crazy, so. I'm trying to get as much fishing as I can early in the morning, but I still have a little bit of work to do from home. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I uh, appreciate you watching, and hopefully I'll get a couple videos out this week.